it's on. You wait a little bit if nobody's on yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you have, I'm, I'm not looking at your list. You're not I looking at, look mine. at mine. We'll say hi to everybody. <laughs> Give them a few minutes. Okay. So we're awesome. saying hi to you guys. Hey, guys. I don't know why I'm looking at myself. <laughs> hi. Oh, you can see people. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Awesome. Hey. Can't look at my list. I wonder why nobody's uh, up on the counter. Awesome. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, we'll get started in a little bit. Just getting everybody in. Anthony and Brandy and Megan. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm still hiding my list from him. Yeah, me too. Don't try to cheat. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, my God. This one was really, really hard. Oh, it was rough. It's been a rough day. Hey, hey Andre. Andre. What's up, man? Uh oh! Awesome Disney radical. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, you can't. Before look. we get started, we got a few announcements to make and some thank yous and stuff. Yeah. We'll give people a few minutes to come in and yeah. share a little bit. So share if you guys want to. Yes. And I'm continuing to hide my list from Todd. Yeah. She has hey, Elaine. Oh, Elaine. Elaine. One of our favorite people. <laughs> Yeah. Hi, Holly. Hi, We're Holly. doing good. We're doing good. Uh-oh. Disney Radicals in the house. It's raining here. Uh -huh. It doesn't rain here often. We're, yeah. the We're the desert, so. Yes, yes. When it rains here, it rains hard. Oh, God. Yes, we are doing well. I just got off of work, so I'm kind of rough. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of our kids is sick, so. Yeah. He's just taking a hot bath right now. <laughs> but happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Yeah. Donna, Shannon, hey. What's up, guys? All right, um, we, can, we can start. We oh can yes, start. so um, before we get started, before we get started on our on our list, we want to say happy Valentine's Day. Happy first. Valentine's Day, everybody! And then we want to give some special shout outs to everybody who is in our group because we have one of the best groups I think I've ever seen. Not just because it's our group, just because you guys are so civil, and when you guys have disagreements or anything. And you guys just show your own love with everything about Disney. And we love looking at your pictures as well as showing off our uh, vacations. We love showing you all the magic that we get to do through our Disney. And, yeah. you know, you guys can live through us sometimes. And I know sometimes it's hard to make it to Disney. And we want to make sure you guys can enjoy it through us. So, yeah. And we live through you guys. Yeah, and, definitely. You know, happy Valentine's Day to some of the best admins we hey, can Pearl, ever ask for. James. Yes. Hey, guys. How are you? Donna, Good. You can join. Um, so Todd and I don't, don't come on live a lot in, well, um, literally we only come live on when we're on trips. So this is literally our, technically our first live yes, where yes. we're actually talking directly to you guys. Otherwise, usually it's just me behind the camera and me behind show, the post showing you, uh, <laughs> what we're doing on Disney, like either on our cruise or Disney cruises, Alani or Disney world or Disneyland. Yeah. So. But a special thank you to, to Beth and Vince and Connie, um, you know, Anthony, thank you so much, Anthony, and everybody who contributes from an admin perspective yeah. and all the content. And I, I like going with you guys on your journeys. And um, I just want to say happy Valentine's Day. And I want to start off this show with a new love because now I'm talking about things I'm in love with. And so even though I get to share with you guys tonight, Todd and I, which he still hasn't seen my list. You haven't seen mine either, so sorry. Um, <laughs> A new show, a new group family that I recently discovered thanks to my wonderful, beautiful Elaine. Um, and, and they're here on, and, and I just want to say Andre and Holly, oh my God, I am in love with your group. Yeah, you guys have a great chemistry. We love oh. watching your lives, so keep it up. I see a lot of groups. I get invited yeah. to a lot of groups. I, be, I started this group where a little over two years ago, Yeah, and it was just for fun. And it started growing, and you realize, you know, it, it, it's it's awesome. You guys will grow quick. So yeah, you guys. I just want to say, I'm in love with your group. I'm in love with them, and and hey, all the energy. Um, if you guys haven't been in that group, I say go over yeah. there. Disney Radicals, Disney, Disney Radicals. with the Z. We definitely definitely sponsor them, right? And now. I thank you so much. I'm in love with them over there. So that's my love for happy Valentine's day. Thank you, Andre and Holly for making it wonderful and warm. But anyway, without further ado, you wanna, you wanna who wants to go right first on the, okay. So this show, as we know, is the top five 
our top five Disney dining experiences. Yes. It's not just based on the food. We're going to talk about the food, the atmosphere, the cast members, why it's good, the location, everything. So it's an all around like point system. We're not actually use points, but we're not just say because this was really hard for me because it was a top five. Yeah. I have a lot of places. If anybody's been following us for a while, we are big time foodies probably at every Walt Disney World restaurant there yeah. is. Mm. And we always give our ratings on it. And there, I can't fit all my good ones in here, but I had to lower some of them and say, okay, well, I like the food here, but I don't, but I don't like the atmosphere as much as this place. So I had to give and take. So it was hard. Yeah, it was very hard. I, and I was telling Holly earlier, it was, I likened the experience when I had to narrow it down to just five. I, I, I narrow, <laughs> I, I, I literally, I mulled over it. Like I, when I was naming my daughter Haley. And I think if some of you who are friends with me, uh, if you looked at some really old posts back in 2011, just before Haley was born, I actually polled people on which name should I name her. Oh and God. I mulled over her name as much as I mulled over the list of dining. Her name was almost Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to go first? Okay. All right. So, okay, I'll go first. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so my first is my last. So out of top five dining experiences, and for me, I love food. I'm in love with food. Um, Disney is as much about the rides and the magic. It's a, as much as it is about the rides, the food is meaningful to me. Like 60% of Disney is about the food. I like everything Mickey World. shaped. I like food. You know, when they combine mac and cheese with, with hot dogs, just throw it all together and make it shape like Mickey and I'll eat it. Um, but without further ado, Starting with my number five, working oh, to number work, oh, one. You're, oh, you're not, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go with number five, and then you're gonna say okay. your number five. Okay. okay. Yeah. So my number five, and as I talk myself up to it, this is a place. My first sit-down dining experience when we first went for the first time with our kids, we went during Thanksgiving, and it's in Magic Kingdom. And why I made the reservation, I had never tried it before, but now it's a reservation I make every year. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But you know me and my stories. And this is your so number five? This place is my number five. It would have been my number one, but I, I fell in love with other places. But this place is my number five, uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. Um, I love, okay, it's family style, and what I know it? the food. Yeah. The food? Yeah. I mean, it's good food. Okay, okay, so this is why. It's good food. Yeah. But... I'll let you go on. I'll give you my okay, opinion. Okay, let me let me tell you why. Okay, so I love Thanksgiving. I love I love everything about it. I love turkey. I love uh, was was stuffing and mac and cheese. Um, the 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 mashed potatoes and gravy. I can drink it. Um, I love the roast. They give you roast beef and turkey, like and it's sort of family style. So like the mac and cheese, I'm like keep it coming, keep it coming, but Liberty Tree Tavern, when you're there, you feel like you're in the colonial days. Like, Jack, that's really, really? Yeah, Jackie! <laughs> Liberty Tree Tavern! I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Um, it's good. Yeah, okay. So That's why it's number five. That's the Patriot five. Platter. That's what it's called. And then you get the Johnny Apple. Hey, how can we get some mad faces? Oh, no. Huh? <laughs> I love it. it. It means a lot to me for my family. It was our first sit down restaurant and our first time experiencing Walt Disney World. Hi, Alice. And that was the first place I made a reservation. And I love Liberty Tree. It's a tradition. Yeah, yeah. it's probably boring, but I love it. No, but we we're also talking about the atmosphere too. And it is really like you feel like you're in the colonial days and, it, and it's like really cool, especially during the holiday season. Yeah, can I get some Liberty Tree love in the yeah. comments? It, I mean, it's good food. <laughs> I mean, if you're going all around, it's okay. I, I, I agree that it's a number five. They got it's like not a number one. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I love Liberty Tree Tavern. Okay, what's your five? Um, now, mine was really hard because I wish we had six because I couldn't fit what I wanted into my fifth one. So it was between hey, Coral Reef or Skipper's Canteen. So basically, I just gave away two of them. But Skipper's Canteen is actually my number five. Skipper's? Okay, yeah. okay. Um, it's really good food, but every I think it's just cool atmosphere because it's the aquarium it's not too much disney at all were you talking about coral reef or are you talking about coral, the oh excuse me I'm, i don't know why i said i said both uh, 
excuse me, Skipper's Canteen. Skipper's Canteen. I, I excuse me. Skipper's Magic Canteen. Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. The food there is so awesome. Um, I had the steak for dinner, and then we had this noodle salad for appetizers. It was it was like a cold noodle salad. Yeah, but, but it, it was sweet. sweet and yeah. it was super good. Nothing there I've ever had was bad. And the thing that I reason why it's number five and it makes my list is that the atmosphere. Um, they give you a bunch of history about in the rooms and the cast members tell you about the things that are on the walls and go walk. They tell you to actually go explore. Yeah. Even when you're going to the restrooms, they tell you to go explore and look at all the pictures and land see the navigation. history of the, of the land navigation. And then just the food is super good. The cast members are good. Just regular Disney. Um, nothing too big to call out. That's why it's my number five. But I just like the atmosphere yeah. and the food. Yeah, yeah, it was one of the like, – it didn't make my list. Yeah. But I have to say – uh, Sk Land Navigation Skipper's Canteen. Beth told us about it. Yep. So Beth, thank you. Um, it was good. It was the only meal hey, that. Beth. Hey, oh Beth, what's Jackie's up, girl? Oh, much love to you, Beth. Yeah. Um, happy Valentine's I, like, Day. We did go to Skip Skipper's Canteen just because of Beth, and it is definitely made my list because it, it is. Was good. Oh, Skipper's Canteen. Yeah. Don't sleep on it though. Yep. It didn't make my list, yeah. but. When Beth told us about it, it was kind of a little different. And I remember seeing online, everybody had, and, and, and rave your hand if you had that big fish with the eyes and everything yeah. still attached. Give us a uh, like a thumbs up if you've ever had that fish. We want to try it. I want to try it. It looks really, really weird. It looks funky. Yeah, it's like I don't really want my food there. Like staring at me while I'm eating. So it's yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> so land navigation, I like, they have these pods. Yep, skippers, Beth. It, it's an appetizer, and you might remember what they – I don't know if you've ever had this appetizer, Beth, or anybody else, but there's these little pods. The pork things. The pork things. Oh, they are – they're good. steamed. And they're like almost like a – Yeah. Not quite like a dumpling. Oh, they are super delicious. And they have falafel that was really good. Oh, too. the falafel. I, I thought I was queen of falafel, and I usually run into a really dry one, but this one came with like a that's hummus. Her, that's best favorite. Oh, oh, guys. If you want to go on a culinary adventure, okay, I agree. your number five is solid. Better, See? but I love my Liberty Tree. But your number I five love is Liberty solid. Tree too, and I'm glad it made the list. I just don't know. It, I don't think it's it not your list. I don't think it would have made my list though. Okay, okay. All, right. all right. Okay, number four. Um. Okay, so number four, believe it or not, is sure. Skipper's Canteen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so do we want to just skip that one since we really talked? Yeah, about we already it? talked about Skipper's okay. Canteen, but like Todd. I, if you're, it's one in the, in the middle of the room or the main room, it is extremely cold. So if I were you guys, if you are dining there and I'm anemic, so I stay cold a lot. So if you're someone who, uh, stays cold, make sure if you're going to stay in the main room, which is pretty awesome because there's a yes, lot of there very good. things along the wall. So pay it, you know, Beth taught me, if she taught me anything, that, is <laughs> pay attention to the details. Yes. In Skipper's Disney. Canteen, the restaurant, when you're in the main room, look at all the details and the things that are on the wall. It is truly a story, I'm sure, well, uh, to be told. With any Disney restaurant, if you think about it. Yeah. But Skipper's Canteen has a lot of but cool Skipper's Canteen is extra special. Yeah. So Skipper's Canteen was my number four. So it was actually higher on my list than Todd's because it was Todd's number five. Yep. So I really love Skipper's Canteen because it was a culinary adventure for me because the food, you know, you got falafel, you got steam buns, you got this noodle thing going on. I had the lamb for those of you who love lamb chops. Yeah, that was so good. So the lamb chops were super delicious. Oh, they were awesome, flavorful. Um, and then the dessert, everything we ordered and my picky kids, Seven, a seven-year-old and eleven-year-old. They're good now. They they actually loved it. Yep. So even for my picky palaters. <laughs> Jackie says Beth teaches us a lot. Yep. Oh, she Beth does. is we'll awesome. Get, we'll get back to her about <laughs> how much Beth actually teaches us. We Beth love is Beth. a gold. She's a. She's so a I'm gonna go. That was your number four. Okay, that was my number four. Well, my What's your number four? So my number four, I say, was the coral reef. Because oh. I think all around, it almost believe it or not, I think most people know what my number one is gonna be. Okay. Coral Reef has some really good food. I think it's one of the most underrated restaurants in the whole Disney World. It's not really that Disney to me, but the sitting next to the aquarium, if I had to sit anywhere else, actually, if I sat 
not near the aquarium, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think I would like the restaurant, but if, as long as you get to sit next to the aquarium, which is awesome, which is the most coolest thing ever. I'm like a big kid when I get to see like the stingrays come right by me and I'm, I'm trying to tap on the glass, but <laughs> yeah. So there's like, so yeah. guys, well, so, so as far as the sitting by the aquarium, what we, we, had, we waited, so yeah, we had we, a reservation the mm -hmm. first time we went Yeah. and sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, that's okay. no, so we had a reservation and they were going to sit us. They actually walked us all the way in there and we noticed we weren't going to get anywhere near the aquarium. So we said, you know, we don't mind if somebody goes ahead of us basically. Yeah, we waited. We will wait for a table because yeah. I think it was worth it too because we literally got sat right by the glass and I got to watch all the sharks and all the fish. So it was worth it. And then there was divers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside. I, I think those were actually not all cast members too. I think it was actually. But, yeah, because they said they that you get to yeah. have a swimming experience. Some people pay for it, but it was divers. Hey, Ryan. Yes, Ryan. Coral Reef is awesome. Uh, see, I got a lot of people that agree uh, with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> it didn't make my list, but I agree with Todd. The food for me was meh. I think the food was the best. But, the, but I got her to eat calamari for the first time. And I'm they not a this, squid. And I no. eat calamari all day. I even eat the ones with the little thingies on it. No. Uh, but <sighs> they have a calamari that's like a southwestern calamari. So oh, it is delicious. First time I've ever seen a calamari because I the usually calamari? get an Italian version of it you know, with the red sauce, but this yeah. had a Southwestern with a corn in it. Best tasting calamari I've had for a long time. Uh -huh. And it proves it when somebody who hates, not hates, but dislikes the look of anything that has arms and then, <laughs> um, that's like squishy like that and actually loved it. Oh yeah. So Coral Reef didn't make my list, but uh, for my number three, but true, Beth, that but is true. Everybody can see it. But just having the effect of literally sitting right near the glass is so cool. But I it's do awesome, agree. Yeah. It is great seating there. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, hey, Anthony. Yeah. Hey, Anthony. Good to see so you. So it is great seating. I do agree with that. So I had, I think I just had a steak there and you had the pork I had belly. It was pork, pork belly. belly. Pork belly was super. Of I course actually ate pork that belly. too because she doesn't, she eats like a bird sometimes. Yes. And so anybody that literally doesn't eat what they're supposed to, it comes to me. So, <laughs> He is. So I try everything, really. He takes care of every. He finishes everybody's meals. Yes, that's it. Yes, scuba tours. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, yes, it's, that's what we were seeing. Yeah, scuba we're tours, doing. and they were diving inside the tank. It was yep. so awesome. The kids were. I think we're so. Gonna, it's a good place. We'll have, we'll have to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh yeah, that would be so awesome. Okay. So that was your number three. No, that was number my number four. That was your number four. So I did my number four, which was his uh, skipper's so what, canteen. So what's your was number, number three? Five. So my number three. Okay. I wrestled with this in my number two, but Chef Mickey's brunch. Oh, okay. Oh, it didn't make your food. But, but okay, okay. Let me explain. Yeah, you can explain that one. Okay, okay. So Chef Mickey's brunch. Okay, so you're not getting a steak or you know nothing wonderful like that. But I learned. If I had to measure like a uh, a combination of food, fun, good food. Now I'm talking brunch, not the dinner, not the breakfast, brunch. And this is with my picky eaters in mind. That's true. Meeting the Fab Five. I mean, that's the, one of the good parts. Having lunch and breakfast options. I love breakfast. We eat breakfast for dinner at home all the time. Who does so it? have, I know, right? Um, so I love Chef Mickey's brunch. And when they created brunch, um, I was like all over it every trip. I love it. It's usually our meal on our first day coming in from a plane ride. We usually will go there, head over there for brunch. Mm -hmm. I love the choices because I can still have breakfast. It's okay, Natalie. We're still on the only I can three. still have lunch. So my number three is Chef Mickey's Fat Five. Who likes to take their napkin and twirl it around? And Goofy is the goofiest Goofy for you'll find. For experience wise, I yeah. definitely agree. For experience, I wise, love that's Chef one of the Mickey's best. brunch. See, this why this was so hard because I have some shows that I wanted to put on here, but then when it comes to the food, their food is like meh, but the shows are good. Right, so but it's good, even though it's buffet, right? you know, and buffet food is usually buffet food, but it's good buffet food, you it know. Is, it is. It's great choices. They oh, give yeah. you a lot of choices. Oh, I finish everybody's food. If it's on the plate, I'm taking it. <laughs> no, you too, Andre. You're the finisher for everyone. As you can tell, I, I finish food. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm on the clean plate club. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yep. Oh, man. That five is awesome. So yes. that was your number three? That was my number three. What's your number three? So my number three is 
I guarantee you people are gonna like mine. Okay, let me see. Mine's Ohana <gasps> for dinner. Ohana for dinner. So you okay. can't you can't I love Ohana for breakfast. Now to be honest, their Ohana breakfast changed. It did. So that almost would have been my number one. Well, in the top three, because of the characters, you know, I love Stitch. If anybody knows me, I love Stitch. Not my favorite character, but I love hanging out with him. Um but the dinner is so awesome because they come around. It's all you can eat just like that. It's family style. The kids love it too. So they got these chicken skewers. They have the steak skewers and they have the shrimp skewers. They come oh. out with these big old things and they just keep on putting as much shrimp and steak and chicken all night. And then they have that uh, cold noodle salad that everybody likes. Kind of like chow mein, but like cold. Um, what else? They? And then they have a salad that's sweet too. So the kids are actually eating salad. Oh, that's the only time I eat only, salad. Salad or for birds yeah, for other Ohana. than that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and if anybody's ever seen any of my posts about my favorite dessert at Disney World knows that I love the banana bread pudding oh, at Ohana's, at Ohana's. With the ice cream mm. on top. Mm. And you can just keep on asking for more and yes. more and more. Yes. And, and most of the time I eat everybody else's because they're full all the time. I'm actually full too, but I keep on eating. And a lot of times we're staying at the Polynesian anyway. So I oh, Katie, you got to make a reservation next visit. Oh, oh and oh while my God, you got to go to Ohana. That's like a yes. must do. Uh, so Kate, so at, for breakfast too, though. But but I'm going to tell you. So Todd, you are. I, I'm I'm glad, I'm glad to see that oh, on they, your they, list. They, they just picked it. We uh, Jeff said we just booked Ohana for this dinner. Oh, oh my God, it. Jeff, that's the best thing. You'll oh, absolutely love it. Um, it's not a character dining. But they have fun. They have some singing and they have to do some things with kids where they do little conga dance. Kind There's of a stuff. guy in there playing the ukulele. Yeah, and he tells the history of stuff. And he tells the history. And when you're in there, it feels like Ohana. We always yeah. we always sit Their next to a yeah. family. Absolute best. Oh my God, we so always get seated next to a good family. There are some people that say there's some bread puddings around the around the parks and on yeah. property. I have yet to find one. To me, this is just my opinion about Ohana's. I think is 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 definitely the best. Oh man, oh man, yeah, Ohana is good. So I mean, while you're talking about that, I'm just gonna tell you my number two. Since yeah, hold on, today we uh, just in case. I don't think we've ever t we when we go down our list. Okay. For people that have never been to Disney and you are just planning stuff to Disney, I want to make sure we've told you where these restaurants are at. Oh, so I, let's, let's go for mine. Just want to make sure. So I'll go down since we've talked about all of our number Some threes. Some people may not know. So far, all of my number threes: Liberty Tree Tavern, um, is in Magic Kingdom. Raglan Road. Um, I have heard of Raglan Road. I oh, have. oh, I, I, Raglan Road is I got to try that next. Well, in, the bread in, pudding. In, uh, uh, Disney. Now that I found out I'm free, more Irish than I ever knew about it from Ancestry.com. And I'm not I definitely, got, I definitely got to go try it now, right, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> so Liberty Tree Tavern, my number five is in Magic Kingdom. Yep. Um, and then my number four, uh, Skipper's Canteen, that is also in Magic Kingdom. Chef Mickey's is at the Contemporary Resort. And then mine, the Skipper's Canteen is Magic Kingdom. We said that the Coral Reef is at Epcot. And Ohana is at the Polynesian, which is one of our favorite resorts, by the way. Yes, Ohana. So are, uh, are Polynesian, we yes. Well, anything else we want to say about Ohana? Well, let me say this: it's my number two. So oh. even though it's your number See, three, our, our Ohana list, dinner. Our lists are close, then. Yes. So we had some of the same things, just in different yeah. order. So my number two. Ooh, she's booking dining tomorrow. Good luck. Oh. What's a book? You know what? Contact us. Talk to us. Well, we'll give you our opinion. We've probably eaten at every sit-down restaurant we'll in, tell you it, in all of the lands. We'll probably you tell you to go get all of them, the ones you say. <laughs> and the reason being is our first three or four, I think every trip, and I think this last trip, we think, even had it. We had deluxe dining. I don't think we've ever not had um, no, except for our So we're kind of forced our, into our table service, so we can probably tell you a little bit about our feelings. Yeah. There's a lot of restaurants that didn't make my list, Natalie, so as you're building yours, um, Maybe I'll run down some that were my yeah. We have know, a lot more number than, six, number seven. I if have I a could lot choose. more that could have fit on this list, but it was just all overall experience, not just the food. But if you're just so, going for the food, yeah. It's so your number three is my number two, um, Ohana dinner. So like Todd, like we just all those things he just explained the skewers, the knot, and let me tell you about those skewers of meat. Like for those those of you who know, I who's already been there, I'm preaching to the choir. It is well. Season oh yeah yeah definitely meat and then the bread service like they have this like pineapple bread that they bring a plethora yeah. of to your 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 table 
everything is family style. So it's if really you're fresh. done, they'll bring more. The noodles, the pot stickers. Oh, oh, oh and the sticky wings. I forgot about the oh, sticky wings. The wings. The wings. The pot stickers. The salad. And it smells the so noodles. good in there because everything is being cooked right in front of you. They have the grill and everything. Oh, right you there. bust right open. Oh, yeah. It's right it there. was Ohana dinner was, best. was easily my number two. It could have been my number could've one. Could have been almost. my number one. Yep. But if you haven't had Ohana dinner, you are sleeping on something. Go there. The atmosphere really yes. brings you in. Jeff, it is like the Brazilian steakhouse. Yes. Very, almost the same thing. Yes. The skewers, if they ask you if they you just want to keep on coming skewers. until you're full. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so um, Ohana is my number two. What's your number two? Okay. So mine is a signature restaurant in Disney Hollywood Studios. Not very. I don't hear very me. Actually, I think this is the most underrated signature restaurant to me. It's okay. the Hollywood Brown Derby. Oh! And I literally love this place. I like that. Um, there's a Cobb salad. And okay. it, I know this sounds funny, but there's a salad, and it and you think a salad. Oh, how could that be an actual how meal? Salad. So this Cobb life. salad is the biggest salad and the tastiest salad I've ever had in my life. And they're known for their Cobb salad. Anybody who's been there, very oh, yeah. good. Oh yeah. Very good. I also had the charred grilled fillet though, just because. Me looking the way I am, I thought a salad wouldn't fill me up, which the salad did. <laughs> but that was his appetizer. So they made it an appetizer, even though it was, was that the one. It was an on, yeah. The Cobb salad was an entree, and when you're on dining plan, or even it's just yeah. Disney. Even if yeah. you're not on dining plan, Disney will do phenomenal things for you. All you have to do is just ask. Oh, Jackie, you got to go to the Brown Derby. Uh, it's it's like you're yes, stuck Jeff, the so the so back in time. Out. I wish I was wearing like a zoot suit or something like that back in the old Hollywood days, <laughs> just looking at the walls and all the history. And because this is based off of an actual restaurant that used to be back in, the in days, Hollywood, in actual Hollywood. So you just feel like you're sitting there back in time. And obviously it's Disney. The cast members are awesome. The waiters are awesome. The staff's good. Yeah. And the food is just phenomenal. And then they have, so I talked about the steak, super good, cooked perfectly. It's not the best steak I've ever had, so I'm not saying that, but it's a great steak. But the Cobb salad is the thing that stuck out. Oh, um, and the dessert. And the dessert, they have this thing called a trio. Now, they're known for this grapefruit cake. It's, it's a grapefruit cake. But if you weren't sure that that's all you wanted to have, they have this dessert trio where you can taste the grapefruit cake, and you can pick any three desserts with that. So I wanted yeah. to make sure I chose the grapefruit cake, and then I ordered this cappuccino brulee and another chocolate cake which was phenomenal. Now, I think Gina didn't really like the grapefruit cake because it's just not it her thing. It wasn't my thing. But if you said cake, I'm pretty much like, it was good. <laughs> but, um, no, but it was good. I, 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 um, I'm I, very picky when it comes to cake because I don't like it to be too dense, too moist, too whatever, but it was super good. Yeah. You know what I like about the dessert trio is they actually have like eight or nine options. Yeah. And it becomes a trio because you get to choose three out of those eight or nine options so, you know, you don't have to have the, you know, you, you could probably, you know, I choose three, you choose three kind of thing and try each other's desserts, which was kind of fun. Um, Cause I chose, you know, grapefruit cake is the only thing that we had in common that we chose. Cause we both were eager to try that. Yeah. Cause we heard that was a signature dessert. That like, was their main dessert. Um, because in the trio, you get a small size of their signature desserts. So, um, so we got the mouche bouche if yeah. you will, of desserts. Yeah. And it just wasn't my thing, but Todd loved it. Yep. Um, but I love the fact that in the trios, you get to try their different desserts. And oh, get that's to, where the kids got the cool little cups too. They gave them light up ice cubes. Oh yeah. Like they had, they had fun with that place. You wouldn't think of it. They had like a lot of cool kids, kid stuff there, but they did. And they gave them little light up ice cubes and the kids were playing with it the whole time for dinner, but it was fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, so do you have your number two? You already said your number two. My number two was on. So number one, Oh, 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 oh. So I did a little teaser today. For those of you, uh, again, I Disney Radicals, I was recently uh, had the privilege of seeing Andre and Holly in their live show a couple, I think it was a couple days ago, or was it day before yesterday or yesterday? That's a good tip. It all comes together. But I mentioned it in the feed, and I asked you guys if you would look at any past posts to know what my number one dining anybody want to guess on this anyone one? wants to guess what your number one i is? have a, yeah what my number one is before i say it can because, i give, can i give a hint no 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 because if because if they guess it i have a prize for them okay and this prize i'll tell you why 
I'm going to send it to you. So, so this is one of the prizes. This is a prize. No, 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 well, look, look, what's the comments? What's the comments? Anybody guess what my favorite number one dining experience? Oh, Jackie! I, you got it! Not fair, Jackie. You know us too well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I and, knew she was going to. It was either Beth or Jackie was going to get okay. it. <laughs> okay. So, Jackie, no. let me tell you what you won. So, I was at Pixar Fest at Disneyland. Yep. And uh, my, my kids know... I, I'm an emotional creature, as Trent would say from Disney DNA podcast. He would say, "So I get the eye sweats, I and I get the eye sweats with this particular movie because, for me, the message of this Disney movie says a lot about what matters to me. And as you can tell, food is one, and family is the other. And I found this really awesome thing at the Disney Pixar Fest, Remy, Remy." from the movie Ratatouille. Uh, all of you who know that movie, uh, the message that it's sending, and he talks about Gustav, and you see him dealing with his cousin when he was trying to learn to cook. Did we say what it was, or did we just um, tell him that she would? One. But California Grill Brunch okay. is definitely it. Okay. And I won an award. It's a Remy spoon. This is mine, but I have two more like it. Yeah. That is not opened. Yeah, so you this that's what, sure what it looks like, but you'll actually. It's Jackie will actually send you this one. It's never been opened. Never been opened. And you and I both get to sit. It's a straw. Um, it's cool. It's, it's actually a straw. a straw. It has Remy on it. But the moral of Remy's story in Ratatouille is food and family. Yep. And um, Disney means that much to me. And that's why food is so important. And I rally around this thing called food. And dining experiences for me is more than just eating. It's how I commune with my family. It's how I connect with the magic at Disney. I love good food and good family together. Okay, even when bad family's around, good food is still good. Um, <laughs> but Ratatouille, that movie speaks to my heart. Yeah. And so- It's also a good movie. <laughs> you'll get my Ratatouille straw, the one I have not opened, so you and I can sit to our Remy. Anyway- um, Well, tell them about- Number that, one. Tell them why. I am telling them why. Um, California Grill uh, brunch. brunch. I've had dinner there. Wonderful. That that was close too. But I actually got to experience it for the first time with Beth and her family. Yep. Beth has a beautiful family. Yep. For those of you who see her in the parks or see her on Streaming the Magic or in our group, we are lucky enough to have her as an administ ad admin. Beth is awesome. And I got to experience brunch for the first time there with Beth and Ryan and Alex and her husband. It's just, it was just wonderful. Oops, sorry guys. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, experiencing California Grill brunch. Uh, for those who love sushi and breakfast, remember breakfast is always important to me yep. and I can eat it all day. Um, at California Grill, just it's called brunch at the top. They only do it on Sundays. Yeah, For those of you time. looking to book, you have to book. If you can book at the 180 day window, do it quickly. It is only on Sundays. Best time to do it at 10 a.m. You get a mimosa, yep. all you can eat. Good sushi. Bloody, I'm talking top yeah, shelf. Bloody Marys. Yep. Bloody Marys. And you can order an entree though too. And, and you get all you can eat. Uh, all of that, you have the, the pastries yep. and the sushi and the, the mimosas coming, and you have all this other food, donuts and bagels. Oh, my. Um, but you also get one entree. And it's really good. Yep. So you have all this food and Thank you, you have an entree. And so brunch at California Grill called Brunch at the Top. You're sitting up high. The, the uh, view Oh, yeah, nothing beats the contemporary. Of Bay Lake is beautiful. And you see the castle in the distance. Yep. You see uh, Grand Floridian, some of the Polynesian. Just, it is awe inspiring. So when you combine top food, yeah, signature, signature food, good, good company. Good. When I talk about food and yeah, family, we were there with Beth's being family. there with the Brooks and, yep. and, and just, California Grill Brunch is just, oh, it was just phenomenal. I loved it. I, I always love it. I'm going to always try to book every Sunday I'm there. That was my number one. I agree.
I, I, I can't even argue with that one. So, because <laughs> mine is definitely close because mine is California grill as well, but it's not brunch. It's dinner. Oh. And there's one reason. One, we already know the food is phenomenal there. Yes. Um, yes. The eggs Benedict's are amazing. Oh yes. Great. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I can't say enough about California Grill. One, we're born and raised California, so I always claim that. So <laughs> California Grill is literally, I'm going to say it right now, and I may get a little pushback, has the best steak to me. Oh, uh-oh, So uh-oh. there's some Five people words. who are going to say that I'm wrong, but I have not been proven wrong yet. <laughs> In my opinion, I love it. So you can have your favorite place. Hey, Ashley. Mine. Their filet mignon is perfect. Um, their dessert is perfect. Their appetizers, I had, I usually get this uh, tuna tartare. Gina's usually a little grossed out by it because it's raw tuna, but I love it. It's huge. It's such a big helping that you actually get full off your appetizer. Yeah. It's, oh, I love it. Oh, even over, oh, okay. Uh-oh. Kimberly, we're going to talk after this. We're going to. That's the exact restaurant I'm going to actually bring up later oh. about something. So we're going to talk about that. Don't worry. Oh, and, yeah. But yes, over, yes, uh, Le Ciele. Way, Le Ciele, over. yeah. Um, so the dessert's good. But here's what we're saying. Because we were not just talking about the food. Atmosphere. It's the atmosphere. Oh, my. You feel like royalty going there. It's a nice place. Yeah. Everything's, you know, you don't have to be suited and booted to be there. No. You think you have to? You we'll don't. tell you right now. They're, they're, they don't allow you to wear like certain things, of course. Like, it's not Victoria and Albert's. It's not Victoria and Albert's. Same it's quality no, of food. Same quality of food, though. I like the thing. So you're on the 15th floor. Everybody knows. So the atmosphere, when you go at night, wait for a window seat if you're going to get it. We'll do the same thing, just like on Coral Reef. We'll, if we see that we can't get a window seat right yes, away. Yes, Beth. We'll definitely. What? We're definitely doing it again, oh, Beth. yeah, we're definitely going to brunch again. Yes. Um. Wait for it because you get to watch the fireworks show. Window seat. So you need to time it perfectly for the fireworks show. Yeah. If you want to see it while you're eating. But here's a good tip. You don't have to, as long as you eat at California Grill at any time of the day for the brunch or for the uh, dinner, you can bring back, this is Brack, bring back your receipt so you can go to the top of the deck on the 15th and floor the and show. go watch the show. As long as you bring back your receipt, you can go watch it. Oh, and don't tell. So also, not only are you seeing the fireworks oh, and they sitting pump, there, they, they pump in they the pump sound. In the music so you can start crying and get the, I you get emotional it. when you I don't hear, just see it. If it, <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows, but I get emotional when the Moana song comes. I think it's the coolest song on their whole thing. Yeah, you get the eye sweats. <laughs> Moana's cool. Um, I'm, I'm Disney <laughs> makes me emotional anyway, but yeah, I agree. Okay. So your number one matches my number one. I'm the brunch or the dinner. And like Todd said, you know, one thing I learned about all of these dining experiences guys is you can make the magic that you require. Oh, yeah, you just got to wait a little bit. So if you want that, that next to the aquarium at coral reef, or if you want to sit by the window and have that beautiful view. So when, yeah. when the illuminations and all the different, wait. The, 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 of the fireworks start to happen and the music is pumping in and it's adding to the value of your experience. Yeah. Wait, wait, patience. be patient. Cause that experience, like they don't rush you at California grill, nope. take your time, get your appetizer, enjoy yep. your family talk. Because you know, if you time it around six 30, I know we did our reservations because at it takes night. It so long to eat. To they, eat they don't through. bring all your food out at once. You know, like a regular restaurant. Yeah. They, they stagger appetizer. Take your time. Entree, the food is good. Time. By the time you're done in full yeah. fireworks are coming on and you're just relaxing. Uh, my favorite appetizer there is this, um, this ravioli, it's oh, one yeah, big ravioli, um, and it's an appetizer, and it's swimming in some of the best tomato sauce, you whatever it is, <laughs> and a shiitake. There's like some kind of mushroom on top. I'm like, oh, California Grill makes some of the best food. It is uh, oh, it's expensive. Uh, it is a one-time treat, but if you're looking for a signature restaurant that delivers ambiance, where you feel like they're gonna make a fuss over you and wait on you hand and foot, and it's just a wonderful view. Um, I, I would definitely say California Grill for Mufasa's dinner. Mufasa's a good one, too. I agree, it's Beth. so romantic. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely Beautiful. Romantic. It could be whatever you need it to be. And for our family, it was magical. And um, I love it. 
Yeah, that's our 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 list. Okay, so we're, I want to get to something. I want to add to something. Okay. What is something you really wanted to make the list, but you couldn't because you can only pick five? Ooh. Um, and I think there? somebody was looking forward to this one. Uh, Tusker House. Okay, I know it's another buffet. No, it's still good. Tusker House. To me, that's one of the best um, buffets. Tusker House. Oh, my God. I love that place for everything that yep. it is. Food. The safari, the dance line that they yep. do with the kids. The characters are good there. They're dressed up on safari. The food is good. And dare I say it, it's good buffet food. Yeah, it actually is really good buffet food. Yeah, so I really. That's why I was um, surprised about your chef, Nikki. I have a couple of want, want, wants. Let's go over that. Okay. Um, are, are you ready for? The want, want, wants. Kimberly, you go. Do you really want me to give you hey, my Gina. want, want, want? Okay, so no, okay, so first? let's so let's let's build up to it. Okay, so as you all know, Disney is full of wonderful dining experiences. Crystal Palace, uh, Tony's Town Square. No, I do that. Um, uh, Chico is amazing. But I say those who are looking to make dining experiences soon, don't sleep on the dining entertainment. Hootie do review. Yep. Um, I went the buckets of chicken being slammed yeah, on your desk. It. it is so funny. That it's almost hilarious. made my list. That literally almost made my list. And I don't know about y'all, but the best sangria on property is at Hoop De Doo Review, and it is unlimited sangria, and it's good. And and we're bringing up restaurants. That's why we're we're big foodies. These were just our top fives. And now that I think it, some of them I actually almost would have changed this list. I keep on forgetting about Sanaa and like. Breast bread service. Yeah, it, there's so many. That's why top five, if it, if I was doing top 10, I probably would have been Gico, easier. I haven't tried top Gico. Top five is hard to do. Top five, is it was hard. I was like picking out my kid's name, I tell you. That's so, pressure. So believe it or not, I had one that almost made the list, but not for the food at all. What was, it was that? was totally for the atmosphere. What's that one? Is Cinderella's Royal Table. <gasps> so My love too. I would have. I, I would, Breakfast. I would never, not even for the meal. It's just about eating in the castle, even if a, and I can say, even, I'm sorry, I love Disney. I'm a man and I love being in that castle. Yeah. I think it's the coolest thing ever to be able to go in that castle is like a dream come true to me every single time. Yeah. Uh, and the food is so, so to me. Breakfast the, is good. Breakfast the is breakfast good. is a lot better the lunch, than the lunch. And, so if you're going to do yeah. Cinderella's Royal Table, yeah. uh, and maybe because I'm a breakfast queen. Boma's is very good. The, the lunch, mm, um, at, at Cinderella Royal table has left me to, you know, feeling like, no, nah, yeah. it wasn't great. But the breakfast at Cinderella's Royal table, super. Those are looking to do Akershish over Cinderella's Royal no. table. Stick with Cinderella's and, Royal table. And just to let you know, I'm an Amundsen. I am Norwegian. You think I would stick up for Akershish? No. no. <laughs> the smorgasbord is not for everybody. Fish is not for everybody the yeah. way to do it. Men know. love castles. Yeah, man. Cool, man. <laughs> um, but Akershush, even the atmosphere seems like you're in a regular restaurant and the and they just like shove princesses in there to yeah. me. It's not castle looking at all. It's just like, it's just something that was rethemed. The the buffet, uh, all you can eat, because it's like. It's smorgasbord. It's a, it's, it was a buffet and family style. Yeah combination and it's a smuggish board it whatever it was it's fish it was weird it's kvelter fish it's it's typical swedish norwegian stuff that not everybody's gonna like nah so it's not a thing if you don't like that kind of stuff it's cold so but then they have the typical eggs sausage mickey waffle stuff like that so if yeah. you're going there and you're trying to but if you're just going there to meet princesses go to cinderella royal table and then you're in the castle yes it is one of the hardest reservations to get besides be our guest and I got another thing. Be Our Guest is awesome, but I think I would take Cinderella's Royal Table over Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest is, to me, is highly overrated. The f the f yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it was just meh for me. Um, the last time we ate, I love the, the food was good. Because we had dinner. Yeah. Now, Be Our Guest dinner yeah. with the Beast, <gasps> yeah. I loved. Breakfast and lunch, not so much. I think it's a waste. I think for what you spend, yeah. and there's no characters. You're just it's dining like in the castle. It's, it's like a quick service. It, it is a quick service. It's a quick service. So it, yeah. But you still, it's like, it, it's yeah, it's okay it's food. Man. It's overpriced. Breakfast. But you know what the, just, I just thought about? Because I always forget about Disney Springs. Yeah. And Chef Art Smith's Homecoming <gasps> should have probably made my that list. That should have made my list. See, we need another See, uh, we'll, five. We'll, we'll probably do another whole show on this because that is literally, if you like Disney Southern, Springs, down home, 
has some really great gems. And and you like to eat. I'm talking about if you like to eat, Chef Art Smith's probably has the biggest helpings of any place. Your cup will runneth over. I'm talking about even the appetizers, you're going to get full off the first one. The church lady deviled deviled eggs. Oh, yep. Yep. Um, Okay, so here's the kicker, guys. So Todd and I had to really think about one thing. What was the biggest disappointment after all of the all hype? The hype of everybody says, "Oh, this is so good. This is awesome." And it looks like Beth's gonna kick my butt. Um, oh. when I, because I'll tell you my first, my biggest disappointment when people were like, "Eat yeah, we'll, here, we'll, eat we'll here, it's great." Well. It just didn't do it for me. Boma. Oh, Beth, I can see. Are I you can, serious? I do. Boma was a wah wah. It was completely. Yeah. Oh, mine's gonna be mine's gonna blow yours away. The one. Boma, <laughs> look, I love Animal Kingdom. Y'all know I just fell in love with Animal hummingbird Kingdom. Cake. Yo, chicken and donuts, Andre. Chicken and donuts. Oh, that hummingbird cake. Oh, Andre. Chicken and donuts. The first time I had hummingbird cake, I actually had it yes, in a cupcake. Yes, garden like this. I had this place called uh, that that was on Cupcake Wars. They were they they were in our community and they had just won Cupcake Wars and they had this hummingbird awesome. cupcake. And I had, that was the first time I had hummingbird anything. And that cupcake sent me all oh, over the moon. And so when I was at Chef Art I Smith, think we even took some home. Andre, I had the hummingbird cake and it blew me away. So yes. But Beth, no, Boma didn't do Jackie it for said, me. Look, somebody's mad at you. Oh. All right. Boma was mad. Kimberly, are you still here? Uh-oh. So the exact restaurant you called out. Uh-oh, Cam's going to kick your butt. And I am part Canadian too. Half my family's from Canada. Uh oh. They would probably be very mad at me. Le Cellier. Le Cellier. I am sorry, has been the worst meal. We're going to try it again. I have ever had. Yeah. Not only because of the food, but. It didn't live up to the hype. The experience was, I'm sorry, the experience was the worst experience I've ever had. And let's talk about that. And this is the first time that I could say that cast members really let us down. And we never complain about Disney. And I love cast members because they're the hardest working people in show business. I tell you. First we get in there. We already know it's a place because it doesn't have windows. That's cool. We knew that that we already knew that it was going to be, you know, dark. It's like a basement. Dark basement, kind of like a speakeasy thing. That's cool. The thing that we, and and I don't want to sound entitled or anything. It looked like they shoved this table next to the kitchen door. And that's where we were sitting. And it was next to also a trash can. Yes. And we got sat there. So yeah. that kind of already put a, me in a little bit of a tiff. I right was there. in a negative so space. Everywhere in and out, these wind, this door. Woof, woof, coming out every, of the kitchen. Every time they come out of the kitchen. And I had my back to it, so I was feeling it and constantly. So we got there, and I, you know, I wanted to try the cheese soup everybody's talking about. Good. The that cheddar was, soup. That yeah. was actually really good. Don't get, get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, it was. Um, but when I got the steak, everybody's saying, Les Elias, steak is so good. So obviously, that's going to be the thing I ordered. I don't see... Oh, the Hollywood Brown Derby steak was better. The Hollywood Brown Derby. Well, it was between that and uh, um, California, California Grill, Grill. Yeah. are mine. Now, I will give it... Another chance. Another chance. Because it was just because we were already in a bad mood by just the way they sat us. And yeah. Everything. It seemed like they were rushing. And we've never been into a place that was that high end and all the hype where they didn't take their time. It seems like they just wanted the table. I think it was busy. Yeah, they were in a busy. rush. I've never seen Disney like this. But the and taste so, of the food was yeah. like, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, Elaine. Oh, good night, good night Elaine. Um, but yeah, uh, Boma for me, and then the same thing for... T- it, t- the Boma atmosphere was wonderful, actually. Oh, so yeah. it was se- separate for me. It was, it was the choices. Um, Boma reminds me of the storyteller... Cafe. I think it's called the Storyteller Cafe at Disneyland. Disneyland. At Disneyland. And it's a buffet. But the choices weren't, there wasn't a lot of choices. And I was used to all of the choices that they give you at Chef Mickey's in Tusker House. But you know and what? so Boma didn't live up to the expectations of Tusker House. You know what? I wouldn't base it on quantity of choices because when you bring that up, I think of the wave. The wave, oh, the wave. does not have a lot of choices, no, but they, they have wonderful. the exact thing you should have. I don't know how to explain that. Sweet potato pancakes. And that's what you can order an entree. But yeah. that's another underrated restaurant the that wave. people don't talk about that much. Though they do, but it's just, it's underrated. Try the wave. 
The wave is one of the best breakfasts yes. you will get. No, don't try it because I can get a table real easy. And the more folks in there, the less I can get True. a table real yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a table in there for breakfast. Okay, really, like we're going to try there anyways again. We definitely. We're going to give Les Salier one more try. We would never see. It could have been just a bad day for them. And because, maybe Boma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go. I like that place. But yeah, the wave breakfast, that is one place. It's a table service that wave, you can yep, see, you can get. Uh, Fairly last minute. Yeah. Um, I booked it the that's morning. That's the contemporary, up. by the way. If you didn't know, at that's the contemporary. contemporary. So, oh yeah, don't sleep on those resort restaurants and the quick service restaurants. Don't sleep on quick service restaurants. Yeah. Especially at the deluxe ones. Um, Polynesians, Captain Cooks. You can uh, only place you can get pork nachos. Pork nachos. And then you go to Gasparilla at uh, Grand Floridian. It's it's oh you get the turkey sandwich there. The, the, oh, yeah. if you guys are ever we know all the food. <laughs> at Grand Floridian or even Disney World during the holidays, Look. and I'm talking between November and January, I think, uh, when they stop with the holidays, they have this, this Christmas sandwich, I call it, um, or, or Thanksgiving sandwich that they make at Grasparella Grill, and it's wo- way better than Earl of Sandwiches. A turkey sandwich. Earl it has, sandwich. Uh, it, it has layers of fresh cut turkey, gravy, stuffing, cranberry sauce, all on this yeah, hoagie roll. It's basically roll. a turkey dinner inside of a sandwich. No, oh. Earl sandwich makes it, but it is oh. eh. Earl sandwich is okay. nice. But yeah, that is our list of top fives in the disappointments. And Jackie, I have your spoons coming. Um, like you guys know. Food and family, uh, Disney is that for me, and I love good food. I'm willing to try new Contemple places. Cafe, yes. Uh, very, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that, that is very good. Oh, oh sci-fi, cup. sci-fi. That didn't make my list, but if I had like a few more slots, sci- sci-fi, sci-fi dinner. Now we had it for lunch at the sci-fi dining cafe at Hollywood Studios. You sit in these cars. It is cool. Now, what I like about it, it's too dark for we me. We have to do another episode because I had so to use a flashlight on my iPhone to see my food. It is very dark in it's there. It's kind of dark, but now this is one thing. I am not a uh, what do you call it? Artichoke and spinach and artichoke dip connoisseur of any sort. But it was good. But I ordered it because I was on deluxe dining plan, and you have to order an appetizer. So I said, okay, send me the the spinach and Are artichoke good? dip. The spinach. An artichoke dip at Sci Fi. Oh my God. And the onion rings are to die for. And the milkshakes are good. It will change your life. Milkshake or malt. Either way, it was good. Spinach and artichoke dip. We're going to do another episode. This one was just for fun, but for information purposes, I think we're going to do a full on review. We're just going to keep on doing restaurant reviews. Maybe we'll do one or two a week so we can give you all reviews of everything. When's the best time to eat there? Uh, Spirit of, of Aloha. We've we've had yeah. the privilege of, of experiencing Spirit of Aloha. Hoop de doo review. We yeah. haven't done Mickey's Backyard Barbecue yet because we're kind of iffy on that one. Yeah. But, yeah. So we've had a lot of dining experiences with our children. Yeah. Um, next up is Victoria and Alberts. One day. Yeah. Well, we had reservations for that, but we had to cancel it. Yeah. So. One day we're gonna dump our kids off on Beth and uh, do Victoria and Alberts date night. Um, I wish we were there right now. But we've experienced 1900 Park Fair. Uh, their dinner with the stepsisters, they're hilarious. The oh, breakfast no. with All Mad Hatter is great because they have the strawberry soup during dinner. That is wonderful at uh, 1900 Park Fair. Um, you name the dining experience, we probably had it. We are foodies to the core. Can we write what? A- food and family. Um, we love food and we love family. Yeah. Um, we love our group. Yes. Um, I love new friends, Andre, Holly, yeah, all the Disney guys. radicals, Disney with the Z. I love that group and I love what they're about. I, I'm a person when it comes to communing with people and, and experiencing and bringing my life and your life into mine. Cause I love seeing your vacation yes, too. I would definitely send an invite Jeff. I want to see your vacations. Please share, guys. Share yes. your food pictures. Anytime you go to Disney, we want to see post as much as you can, as long as you want to. Post yeah. everything. You'll, live. All anything. of that. So you'll find me either in Walt Disney group or over in Andre and Holly's group, in the Disney Radicals. I'm loving on that group. 
You'll find me at the Disney DNA podcast. Yep. I love that family. We show well. love to other groups, not, uh, not just to be, just because we know you guys are genuine. I love a good definitely heart. I could tell you uh, to, to dote on Andre and Holly. Oh, yeah, definitely. We can Andre and Holly, you have my heart. You guys yeah. are wonderful, warm, love your group. Uh, but you guys know what matters to them, and I'm learning about them and their group yep. is what food and family and people. Mm -hmm. And I love this group because of you guys. So stop, don't stop posting. Share your food pictures. Share yep. your family vacations. You guys know we're... We have food experiences now from Disney Alani. We just came from Disney Alani. See, we can do that too. We can do our food reviews from Alani, the Disney cruise. For those that got a few of those coming up. <laughs> thinking about a Disney cruise. Yep. Uh, hint, Disney World does food better than Disney Cruise. We'll talk about that later. Yes, Disney World. But food. Disney World does better on a lot of things. But I love Disneyland, Disney World. We've been on Disney Cruise and yep. Alani. We want to continue to share our family, our, yeah. our love for food. And fun. That's why we started guys. this group just to share with you guys, and it got bigger than I ever thought it would get. You know, this was mostly for family and stuff, and then we got we created our own Disney huge gigantic family. Yeah. yeah. That's why our group is not like one of these super groups. It's like two hundred thousand. No. It's, this is a small tight knit group. This is what we want to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you guys. Oh uh, yeah. So we want to do a, we wanted to do this at the beginning. I want to call you guys out. So please go join, you know, the Disney Radicals. We definitely oh, agree. With a Z, Disney with okay. a Z. Please go check out Beth on Streaming the Magic. If you want to see She's the phenomenal. best places to stand, especially for the Stormtroopers, and you want to, you know, you can't get to the park right now. Beth. And you're missing, you know, the Stormtroopers. And I do all the time. And sometimes Beth will call me up and say, hey, Todd, this is for you. She does the, a phenomenal job of filming some of the stuff that we can't see because we're at work right now and then we want to experience Disney. So please go look at Beth at Streaming the Magic. And you'll get and here, Beth, Beth is and an here. admin. And Beth, and we want to call you out too because Beth, Beth is one is of my awesome. first admins. And Ryan, her awesome son, son, doing wonderful yep. uh, woodwork. So it's uh, Brooks Craft Creations. Go check them out. I do have a post. Um, in our group, he does these cool little wood things. He can do almost anything with wood. So if you want, if you have something custom, um, I'm not going to speak for him, but you know, uh, direct message him to see if he can do it. Uh, prices are pretty cool. And then I also want to call out, you know, Vince. Vince Charming. Vince Charming for our Disneyland peeps. For the ladies. So we all know he does his <laughs> muscle picks near his check-ins. So Vince, that's for you. And then Connie, we love you. So thank you for everything you contribute. And of course, Anthony. Anthony, you always contribute all the cool stuff that we don't know that's coming up in the future. Disney, so you guys, yeah. been, you've been taking pictures of the gondolas and you know all the things that are coming up soon. Yeah. Taking pictures of um, what was it uh, the Marvel stuff that's being done yes. there right now. So we thank you for that. And I have a few more things to say just about Happy Valentine's Day and make sure you you know you love your family and you know it's not always about Disney. You know this is our our Disney group, but we're just like love everybody and treat everybody with respect Damn. and that's, oh, why, that's what's so good about this group we try to treat everybody with respect and you may not see it in my group you know there's some things that happen in the background where i delete some things but you'll never see it so but in the long run i think our group we have the best one of the best running groups because you guys are so civil with uh you don't bring politics into here you don't you know disobey like some of this i don't enforce i don't yeah. enforce these rules yeah you know like as hard as some groups do but just want to say thank you to you guys you had a giveaway so uh, lastly i had did have a giveaway so i have a question for you if now the new people are probably not going to know this answer all right but you could still guess so my question for my contest and and i told you guys you guys would be winning this pixar fest so they Another do pixar sell the, they do sell these still with but not, they do not sell the with, the pixar, with fest the pixar fest because it was in 2018 and it was limited time that they were actually selling these so we actually got a few of them we got three but we don't we'll part with oh, one so of it, you uh, it lights up and everything so awesome. cool. All right. <laughs> so we're going to give this away if you've been answered my question which if you're old and actually pay attention to some of my posts, you will know. But you can keep on guessing. Who is my, my favorite Disney character? Let's see if who knows. Do you even know? Don't say it, though. 
Do you even know? I think I do. Okay. <laughs> you better know. Oh, what is mine? Okay, mine doesn't have a contest around it, but while they're thinking about yours, what do you think mine is? Is it somebody you've dressed up as before? Oh, you know what? People may know this. Beth will probably know this. Jackie will know this. What's my dis favorite Disney princess? And I've bound it as her. Well, I know that's Snow White. I was there. Oh, let me give it away. Stitch, nope. Not Woody, nope. Nope. Nowhere near this. It's somebody you won't ever see in the parks. Yeah, you'll never see him in the parks. But you'll probably see him. Don't. In the don't, don't okay. <laughs> Keep on going, guys. I want to hear you. You got to guess. You got to guess. I'll give you hints when I see certain ones. What is the hint I can give without? Uh, but Katie, next to my Disney princess, Snow White, I love Stitch. Um, a good hint. You got to give him a hint because this is a hard one because you don't see him. Okay, you can only see him. Okay, this one, I don't know if I him. I only found out my husband's after 24 years of marriage. Like, Oh. oh, she's saying you, Snow White. That's not my favorite character. <laughs> Jackie, no, I bounded as Snow White when some I hints? met Jackie. Okay, some hints. Uh, should I explain something? Just in the restaurant? Yeah, you say, say okay, say, should I say it like that? Yes, yeah, say it as that. I, a, I can a, only meet this specific character in a restaurant. At Grand no, Floridian. No, that's really. I can't help the people that out. Gives it away. You, yours is so difficult. I like Mike Wazowski. Not my favorite, but I do like her. You can meet him at 1900 stop, Park. Stop. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Look, you meet Jack Sparrow. No, no. Mortimer. That'd be cool, though. Jack Sparrow would definitely be a cool one. Oh, that's Jack, a good one, though. Jack Sparrow's my, uh, yeah, it's my boyfriend. Okay, Rick, you got it. Ah, oh, Rick, you got it. <laughs> Jackie, uh, so I, I can only, okay, so I don't know, because I know the timing of this sometimes. <laughs> you guys, both said it so jackie and rick but i think rick got it came in first so rick you got it it's a mad hatter yes that if you've never met the mad hatter and it's not just because he is, of the silly. Movie, he is the silliest character to Fun. greet he we have a video i'll post it again one of our videos yes. he interacts with you so much he asks us questions about what rides you're going on and then he make like we said we were going on a dumbo ride next and he was making fun of dumbo going like this with the kids and just interacting so much. He I totally fanboy. Oh yeah, I go that's, mad hat. That's one of the only characters I get up to take a picture with, <laughs> and that is a tough one. It is because he's not a character that you can meet anywhere else. So he's like one of the hardest characters to get a hold of. Yeah. So that that's one of my favorite ones. He is funny. If you ever book uh, the dinner, I mean, sorry, the breakfast, a nineteen hundred park fair, yeah. he is going to be. I guarantee you. Your favorite part. Your favorite part of the 1900 Park Fair character breakfast. Yep. So, Rick, you get the cup. Um, just Woo! direct message me when you can, um, and I'll get your mailing address, and I'll send it out to you. And, Jackie, same thing for the um, straw. Okay, guys? And we're going to do this more often. I think I'm going to announce that we're going to try to do this every Thursday. Or depending on, you know, I, I don't want to compete with some of my friends. Well, well, Thursday, so we're, we'll, we'll, we'll find a well, spot. Thursday, Thursday seems yeah. to be okay day right now. Yeah. And, and possibly on Sunday. So we're going to try to do this twice a week. We don't want to compete with any of our friendly groups. So we're definitely not, if we see your schedule, we're not going to compete with you. We have no reason to try to. Because I'm going to be too busy. Look, yeah, I'm going to be too busy joining. Yeah, we're trying to watch your guys. Especially stuff. Disney Radicals. Not a plug. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yes, I know you do see Festival of the Fantasy, but it, just to have the actual come to you, unless you're lucky enough for him to actually come up to you, that's what I like about eating there with him. Yeah. Well, guys, um, I know you guys will have your dinners and families to yes, get Kimberly, to. Yes, Kimberly, not Monday nights. We're, <gasps> we're, we're watching you. We got it. <laughs> we're with you, Kim. Um, but thank you so much for allowing us to come into your homes today and sharing with you our favorite dining experiences. Yep. Don't hesitate to comment your top five. Yep. What is your top five? Yeah, I want to know. What should I give another try? Give us some show ideas. We don't mind. Um, tell us show what you ideas. Want us to tell us. We'll yeah. About. And um, I'll be booking my dining reservations in May for our November trip coming to Walt Disney World. So Thanks, Andre. I'm always looking for a great place to eat. So to put in, if you don't mind, comment your top five. So I might just be booking there. So thank you so much, yep. guys. Thank you. Yeah. Have a wonderful night. Love you guys. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.